Hello friends, so today we are very welcome to a very new topic known as the object oriented programming. So this is the series of the important question series. And uh, in this portion, we will cover about the most important questions with multiple choices questions because this is the present scenario. All the scenarios of the paper has been changed. So today we will cover about the object oriented programming. Is a present scenario may have a Sara format change you got the paper cast so in this time paper will consist multiple choice question mostly paper will consist of multiple choice question all because the mode of the paper is also changed as a kit you and uh, all the CCS university and all the universities uh, have changed our pattern that all the papers will be continued in the format of the MCQs. Okay, so now first uh, <coughs> our first unit term. Uh, in object oriented programming. So first unit, uh, because uh, this is the, your topic, uh, object oriented programming using Java. This is your topic, which is consists of the BTEC, BBA, BCA, diploma, and other courses. Okay. So now first question, jab bhi kabhi aega, to pahla question, jab bhi kabhi aega. So first question is very important. If in a consist of Java, Java may, and in a object oriented programming is also. So first question is, Java is developed by very simple. Java is developed by so everyone will be aware that ki Java is developed by the Sun Microsystem. It means uh, first A. First, kya ho first answer is A. Now, second question is one of the inventor of the Java. Very simple. Who is the invent who is the who is the inventor of the Java? So very simple. Everyone is well aware about the who is the inventor of the Java. So this one, James, Mr. James Gosling. Two persons is involved in this one. Then one person is known as the James Gosling is the one of the inventor of the Java. Okay, so now third question is one of the Java features that enables Java program to run anywhere, anytime. Okay, run anywhere, anytime means kya ho jata hai? that is platform independent. This is the feature of the uh, Java. Uh, feature uh, run anywhere and anytime. So this is the feature known as platform independent language. The language which has the platform independent. Uh, then what is the means of the platform independent? Means it can run anywhere and anytime. That is known as the platform independent. Okay. So now uh, next question we have covered four questions. So now fifth question is. Java, comp Java compiler translates source code into very simple Java compiler uh, change the source code into so the compiler hota, so compilers main uh, main use of compiler is to change the any source code into a byte code okay so here we are talking about the Java compiler so Java compiler main use is to change the byte code so okay source code whatever is the present is the source code so it will be change your source code into byte code okay so fifth answer is a so fifth answer is your a now six java interpreter translates java interpreter translates java interpreter translates very simple it will also translate what java in java interpreter translates byte code it means virtual code. So this answer is a B. Okay. Now seventh question: Java compiler produces an intermediate code known as intermediate code, which is no, which is known as. What is that? Is C. It means byte code. Okay. Now uh, eighth question: Tools help us to find the errors in our programs. Okay. So errors in our programs so known is known is jdb jdb is means java development okay uh one thing you have also uh, known as jdk okay jd and k jdk means jdk means java development kit okay jdk means java development kit okay so here which tool helps to find the error in the program so jdb okay it means eighth answer is b eighth answer is b Java development. Eighth answer is B. Okay, sorry, B. Eighth answer will be D. Now we will come on the ninth question. So the includes hundred 
of classes and methods grouped into several function and packages several function and packages okay so there will be a api okay so our answer is ninth answer is api okay, so whatever i am telling these are the most important question will be mostly will be come on the examination because uh, here we are talking about the oops it means object oriented programming using java that's why here we are covering so many questions related to the java okay so after that we will come on the uh, topic object oriented so okay so object oriented basically uh, in my previous uh, lecture i have told you if you have not seen that lecture then you can go on through and you can search it okay then uh, you will find out then object oriented programming consists four things okay how many four things kon kon si four things so so number one is abstraction abstraction okay polymorphism abstraction polymorph polymorphism polymorphism then after encapsulation encapsulation and inheritance okay so i have discussed in a very broad manner ki what what are the these things in my lectures okay so here we are talking about the multiple choice questions of the object oriented programming now we will come on the topic 10th question 10th question what is the 10th question java interpreter uses what the java interpreter uses main functions always we remember java interpreter uses the java interpreter uses the main method before any objects are created okay suppose that if we are creating any objects in a java okay so what we will do first we will write down the main why because this is a platform independent uh, language okay so its interpreter will consist first thing is a main function okay first thing is a main function now come on the 11th is for the naming class methods variable etc in a program okay so 11th um, is known as the program okay so now uh, this answer is right yeah identifiers okay so what is the answer I, answer is the identifiers identifier is used for naming class methods variable etc in a program okay so now we will come on the next question our question is 12 okay so 12 question 12 question what the 12 question is uh, is reserved keyword in a java very simple so reserved keyword in a java reserved keyword in a java abstract yes this is the reward key, uh, reverse key, uh, reserved keyword extend yes it is also package yeah, it means our answer is d 12 answer is d okay now we will come on the 13 question 13 question ko java provides extensive set of the classes arranged in package yeah is and there is a yeah, package so answer is a okay so 13 and 13 answer is a java provides extensive set of the class it means the set of the classes so what is the package package will be the collection of the so many things so here what is the package package is a um, um, intensive uh, set of the classes classes it means the baggage of the classes full of the classes the baggage is known as the packet okay so now we now we will come on the 14 question so our 14 our 14th question is the process of converting one date one data type to another yeah actually dead type so here is the data type okay so if we are any jam their type has we are converting to another then what will uh, what we will do so our answer is type casting okay so here is the uh, yeah casting a term uh, there is a one term is known as the type casting type casting through type casting we can find out that ki, uh, our variable which type of the variable we are using that is the in integer float character all all these things so this will be known as the casting okay so 15th uh, 15th uh, question is java does not support java supports overloading yes java supports global variable yes multiple inheritance yes so your answer is d 15th 15th answer is d all of above okay so kya ek keh raha hai java does not supports kaun si cheez nahi support karta hai overloading okay then after global variable then after multiple inheritance and then after ye hamara ho jayega so this is known as all of above okay now we will come on the 16th question our 16th question is casting casting from casting from byte 2 
data type the result is no loss type from the byte to sort yeah so all of above it will consist in teaser long sort okay so it will be all of these means it will consist all of these now okay casting from sort to data type okay when we are when we anywhere is called the sort okay then there is one data type will be always be that is byte okay what if, what will we use we will use byte okay now we will come on the 18th question our 18th question is our our 18th question is uh, refers to fixed value that does not change during the execution of a program okay execution of the program so uh, con constants yes constant it means constant constant is a constant whose value is the fix will never change okay the same thing is written here refers to the fixed value that does not change due to the execution of the program so not only java anywhere constant value always be fixed because variable is vary the values that is known as the variable constant so what is the constant constant is a whose values are the fixed that is the constant so our answer is b okay now we will come on the 19th question our 19th question is known as operators are used to construct mathematical expression as in algebra multiple expression add in algebra yeah so it will be consist on the arithmetic operation okay because there are so many types of the operations like the arithmetic where where we are the mathematical expression like plus minus divide uh, subtraction addition all these things it will consist by the arithmetic logical logical operator what the mean of the logical logical means and or not in these things relational relational operator okay such type of the operator so many types of the operators so 19th answer is c arithmetic operator okay now 20 uh, which uh, constant must be considered at the time of the variable declaration which constant must be declared at the um, it should not be keyword okay it must not be begin with digit white is uh, yeah it means kya ho jayega? Ki how we will declare any uh, variable okay so what will must be considered so must be it should not be it should not be keyword it not maybe means not started with any keywords okay not started with any digit and not started by the gapping it means space so our answer is d 12 answer is d okay so now we will move on the question number 21 okay so question our question number 21 question number 21 yeah the companies yeah, the comparisons can be done with the help of the comparison will be come done by the help of uh, relational math yeah relational relational means okay, relation okay so the comparison how, how when we will compare anything when you have two or more things then you will compare all these things so it means if anything which has the relation then you can compare these things so our answer is relational okay it means a now 22 which of the following is not a assignment operator if anybody is known about the what is the following not a assignment operators anyone any student knows about key what is the assignment operators yeah right yeah my one student told me that if this is the right answer okay so is right so this is the right answer Okay, answer is B. 22. Answer is B. Now we will come on the 23. 23 question is, we will come on the upside. Yeah, like this. So 23, 23, our 23 question is, 23 question, operator is used to construct conditional expression. Operator is used to uh, conditional. Okay, so when we are coming on the conditional statement, there is a one answer that is a tertiary operator will be used for construct the conditional expression. Okay, always remember which type of the operator? Tertiary operator. Now we will come on the which statement is used to tertiary loop early. Okay, which statement is used tertiary loop in early? That is when it is known as the break statement. Okay, which statement? Break. So 24 answer is D. Okay, now we will come on the 25. 
which statement is used to skip the loop and continue with the next iteration okay uh, continue with the next iteration okay so for stopping we will use the break okay and for the continue we will use the next iteration very simple continue okay so 25 answer is a now we will come on the 26 is a group of the contiguous or related data items that shared in a common name is known as very simple array okay so 26 answer is b now we will come on the 27 27 answer uh, which of the following is the correct declaration statement in a java correct declaration integer num character no this is not uh, this is also not uh, yeah so 27 answer is d sorry c 27 answer is c now 28 java java only compiler java what is the java is the only compiler only compiler compile yeah java is compiles and then interprets okay so our answer is c our answer is c jvm java virtual machine it stands for i have told you java virtual machine so answer is b okay so these are the multiple choice questions okay i think you have well aware about these questions so your yeah, answer is also presented there so if anybody has not attend this one then you can see the answer there okay now we will come on the very short questions short questions i have shown here because the, this is a question bank okay i have made a i have taken more time to make a very prestigious important questions which will come on the examination not only this time this time only the uh, multiple choice question will come but this will be help in your future examinations when this pandemic will be over then you this is very useful for that time so not short questions don't waste the time short question first thing java is a platform independent and portable justify kg okay justify it how platform independent and portable what java okay very simple one number question now second is a java is a distributed language yes so how justify java is a dynamic and extensible language yes see where a written is justified it means whatever is written that is right so how it is right just justify it means write something how what is jvm what is java virtual machine describe what is the java virtual machine so here we will have done what is the java virtual machine okay so now a fourth question fourth question is java virtual machine fifth question list out the java development tools and explain one of from it okay so what is the java development tools how many tools are used in a java development so we, we will write down any one from it okay now six list out java apis and define any one of it okay what is the java api okay you will uh, this is not a very deep uh, uh, for the discussion lecture here we are only discussing about the important questions okay so if you want to the answer of these questions then you can comment then i will tell you the answer of these questions if you want to the solution of this question right then i can also provide okay now draw the java program structure okay that's good write down the rules for variable naming very good what is what is meaning of automatic type conversion ninth question tent is list out the type of the operator which is used okay which type of the operator we are using and these are character float lines so stuff, which are type of the operator the types of the operator used in a java okay how can you ternary operators okay there are so many types of the operator integer character flow so how the tertiary operator we will use okay so you can define here what we can use the tertiary operator now uh, question number 12 our question number 12 define the break and continue statements where we are using the break and continue statement when we have so many things like sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday so if you want to um, so many things so many things okay so first if you want to uh, stop anything from anywhere then we use the break and after that if we want to the continue then we use the continuous statement very simple okay list out the features of the java very important questions in a short questions list of the java features okay any language where if you are uh, studying about the python so features of the python so if you are uh, studying about the java so what is the features of the java okay list the primitive and non-primitive data types okay this is the type of the data type now write the syntax of the while do while for loop okay 
these are the conditional statements which are the conditional do while for loop these are the conditional statements okay now we will come on the long question of the unit one so what is the java java means what is the java let one independent all these things we will write down explain the features of java it means there are two short question merge into a long questions okay now we will come on the second question is known as describe the java environment okay so java which type of the environment java takes so we will describe here uh, minimum one page uh, or more than one page you can describe here now explain the structure of the java okay, which type of the structure will be provided by the java so, okay so our fourth question is explain the data types variables in a java which type of the variables using in a java and all these things now fifth question type casting very important question okay type casting explain the scope of the variable scope of the variables very simple question list out the discussion making statements yeah this is a little bit typical question okay if you don't know then you can ask me i will give you the solution of this question okay so list out the looping statement looping statement means for loop while loop do while loop so here we will describe about the all the uh, looping statement, whatever we are using in a Java. Okay. Now explain the break and continue statements. I have told you here, you how, what is the break and what is the continue? So you can write here. Okay. Now list of list out the operator, explain anyone in details operators. Okay. So which type of the operator according to you, automatic operator, logical operators, and all these things. So this is the unit one. So today we have covered the unit one. Okay. So in my next lecture, we will describe you about the unit two with mcqs short questions and long questions everything will be considered in my next lectures okay thank you